Hi, I'm Al Schmidt. I'm a recording engineer and record producer, and uh, I'm happy to be here to talk about my uh, 6,000 Echo devices. Uh, we use these things all the time. I'm doing a uh, uh, record right now with uh, Gloria Estevan, big string orchestra, and the 6,000 plays such an amazing part in enhancing the sound of what we're doing with this beautiful orchestra. Uh, I, I used it on a Paul McCartney album that I did, Kisses on the Bottom. Uh, I, it's a tool I use every day. I, whenever I'm mixing, it's with me, the 6000. And, uh, you know, it has so many options in it that we can do when we want effects, we can go to effects. And I have certain artists that, that uh, trumpet players have a se special setting that they want for their uh, trumpet. You know, we, we found a, f a spot for them, and now that wherever they go, they ask for that setting. Um, it's a wonderful piece of gear. Uh, if you don't have one, you should get one. Um, they take good care of it, too. Um, whenever I have, if I have any problems with, with it, which I can't remember ever having any, but I know the guy to call that come and fix it for me. <laughs> I love it. I, I just, it's one of the first things I set up when I'm mixing. Um, you know, it, it, I have a special setting in it for my drums. And uh, depending on what kind of record it is, uh, that setting pretty much goes on my drums, especially if it's something jazz-wise, because it's, it's such a natural sounding unit uh, that it, 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 you can make it sound like the drum is in a smaller room or a little larger room or, or even a bigger hall. And it just sounds so natural. It sounds like it was actually in one of those halls. And, um, and the control you have over it, which is great. Uh, total control, total recall. Well, when I track, I, uh, I don't use any EQ at all when I track. I do use monitoring echo. We have the echo set up in, in the monitor. We don't record with them, um, but to hear what it's going to sound like when we get into mixing. Um, if something doesn't sound right in the studio, I don't EQ anything. I change the microphone or the position of the microphone. Um, I don't use compression, very little compression on anything. I try to keep the records I make as natural sounding and, and as close to what's happening in a room as possible. Uh, the fact that the 6000 gives me the opportunity to, to match up rooms anywhere I go, whether I'm in, you know, in London at Air or Abbey Road, or whether I'm here at Capitol or in Miami at Criteria. Um, I, I have this great control so I can get an idea of what it's going to sound like when I get down to mixing. So the echo is a big part of that and, uh, and how it's used. We do use some delay uh, uh, on, on echo and, and so forth, but pretty much not. Pretty much I use what's in the unit. I don't, uh, I don't deviate much from that. The monitoring echo that I use when I'm tracking, uh, I use the 6000 and uh, um, so I set it up so I can simulate what it's going to sound like when I'm mixing. But it's, 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 we don't print it uh, because I have a unit here and, uh, and I'd rather have everything dry and be able to change what I want later on. Uh, you know, if I print it, I'm stuck with it, so I try not to do that. Whenever I travel, uh, it's either I take it with me or I make sure that where I'm going they have one. Um, yeah, it's it's the number one tool uh, in my uh, arsenal. I mean, I, I I don't do anything without it. I mean, I have a bunch of other things that I use also, but that is one of the most important pieces of equipment that I use. Yeah, it's great. It's a great unit, and um, you know, I I would advise anybody to if you haven't tried one, try it.
And once you try it, you'll buy it. And, hey, how about that? Once you try yeah, it, you'll buy it. Uh... 